Hello, my name is Hiwei Zhan and today I will be presenting my project which is for the title EEG Actuated Wheelchair. So this is the overall block diagram for my project which is the EEG Actuated Wheelchair. First, we will be acquiring the EEG signals from the user's brainwave. After that, we will be pre-processing the signal. Uh, then, we will be extracting the useful features to be used for the classifications. And then, the, the EEG data recorded will be classified and then used for the actuation command in the wheelchair. So this is the working principle for the entire EEG actuator system. Due to the pandemic, we couldn't purchase the EEG actuation device which is the Emotive Epoch. Th therefore, in this project, the online database will be used. In the database, the signal pre-processing is already done, so the process for the project will start straight away on the feature extraction. So the feature extraction is to select the most useful frequency bands for EEG signals which is the beta wave after testing all the wave, the efficiency of all the wave. After that, the, the, a model will be trained using the data set just now using a fine Gaussian SVM classifiers in the classification learner app from MATLAB. After that, after we obtain the train model, a GUI will be, a GUI will be cre created. Then the train model will be loaded to the GUI. After that, the GUI will be used to um, classify any data. Then the data will be sent to a master Arduino circuit, which is connected through USB to the desktop. Then the master Arduino will be sending the data over again wirelessly to the wheelchair prototype. Finally, the wheelchair will be actuating the command according to the brainwave signal. So this is the graphical user interface GUI created for the EEG actuated wheelchair. So in this GUI, there are three main buttons, which is the brown, browse, predict, and serial connect. The serial connect will be used to establish a communication between the MATLAB and the master Arduino circuit. The browse enable the user to, en to import any EEG data into the GUI, and then the predict can be used to predict the class of the browse, the, the imported data just now into the, into the GUI. After predicting the class, the value of, of the predicted class will be straight away sent to the master Arduino circuit and then over and, and then again sent over to the, the wheelchair prototype. The actuation performed by the wheelchair, which is the direction, will be ex, will be illustrated in the axis in the GUI and the direction will be explained will be illustrated as well. And this is the prototype created for the EEG actuated wheelchair. On the left is the prototype for the wheelchair and on the right is the master Arduino circuit which is used to communicate between the wheelchair and also the MATLAB. So this is the GUI for the EEG actuated wheelchair and the prototype of the wheelchair as well. So in this, so first in the GUI, we can establish a connection between the MATLAB and the master Arduino circuit by using the serial connect. After the communication is established, it will show here connection successful. If the connection is not successful, it will say connection unsuccessful. After that, we can use the browse button to browse for any input data we want to we want to test for the for for the class of the data. Let's say it's class zero, which will actuate the the wheelchair to move forward. After we input the table here, will shows the value of the or value of the signal that we just input just now. After that, we can predict the class of the data by using the predict function. Note that in this, the first column of the data is actually the um, actual class of the input data, but this, this column will not be used while predicting. After we predict, the predicted value will automatically be sent to the prototype wheelchair to, for actuation. After we got the value, then the data is sent and after the after the prototype actuate, the GUI will indicate the direction of the wheelchair as well. So we can input keep on input while using second data. Then we predict. So we want to move again to reach the destination. We will use the third. Or no, in this case we are going to turn. We are going to turn right using the class one. And then we want to move further again, we will be using the class 0 again. We will use another data set. So as can be seen, the wheelchair is already reached its destination. 